What you guys got another video here for you. Now this one's been requested a fair bit for 2013 on how to remove malware on a really infested machine. So I've got a really infected machine here and uh, I thought I'd show you some steps to take to try and hopefully get this back up and running. Now if it doesn't work then you've always can uh, use the backup and uh, format situation but we'll try and do it without doing that okay. Now it's pretty bad so it's going to take a bit of time. We've got some free tools here we're going to use. And the first thing I'm going to do is boot to Kaspersky Rescue CD. I always get asked what sort of uh, plan of action do I do when I'm removing malware and stuff. Well, it sort of varies with machine to machine. So we're going to, this may change a little bit as we're working on this machine. So let's uh, reboot the system to Kaspersky Rescue CD. So I'm going to come down to the start button here and restart the system. Okay, so let's boot up to Kaspersky. Now you will need to download this and burn it to a, an actual uh, CD or use the USB drive. And you can see videos that I've done about that already. I'm just going to push one here and then push enter for graphic mode. They may be asking why am I using Kaspersky Rescue CD when this machine is bootable. Well, this actually stops all the processes running and gives me a chance to see what's on the system. Now, obviously, if you're not comfortable with uh, removing stuff manually, then you can actually just run a scan. OK, I'd advise you to do that and leave the manual part out. So you don't have to follow me to the letter it's each machine is going to be different so first off I'm going to start with the update and get this up to date and while this is updating I'm just going to leave that there and go to the C root directory now the reason why I've come into Kaspersky is because it gives me the reg uh, registry editor and uh, also allows me to look around the system so I'm going to leave that updating for now and then pull this down and make this a bit bigger okay now straight away I can see some infections already in the C root directory here and uh, these are the files here. Now you may ask, I always get this, is how do you know it's an infection? Well after working with PCs for a long time and knowing how the operating system works I know that these files shouldn't be here. Okay. Now also we can go up to view and uh, view mode and details and this will change the view look and also give us the date now straight away I can see this has got uh, an old date on it but I know there's some viruses that can do this and change the date okay but I do know it's a dodgy file so that's coming out of there I'm going to move that to trash you can either right click on it and remove it to trash or you can just click on it and click delete on your keyboard whatever floats your boat really and this one's another one now you may ask why I'm going through and doing this when I can just run a scan. Well the reason why is because it's a lot easier to uh, do this and also it eases up the time it will take to do scans and also uh, allow the system to, these may get missed and uh, I can visually see them. So there's a load of reasons for it. Let's go into the program data folder here and I can already see there is a file in here called svchost.exe also autorun.inf and that's not a very nice one either so we need to remove both of these files and you can see there by the date that these have been uh, created so they're gonna go now I could let the scan deal with this but personally this is how I work and I like to remove it this way I can see something called Babylon and that's going to be ditched as well. Okay, so let's uh, go through the motions here. Now, as I said, I'm not really after completely cleaning the whole system and free of uh, viruses. It's just a case of what I can see. And uh, I can already see some more stuff inside here. So that's another one that's going to get deleted and also this shouldn't be there either. We're just going to go to view 
and details. Again, we're going to pull this down and I can see some files here that have been added. So I do know that these are infections and they're going to get deleted. Move to trash. Okay, so let's uh, go up to app data and look in a roaming folder, another common area and I can see a folder here with numbers on it that's normally a sign for infections, there's nothing in there but I'm just going to remove it something called Babylon and that's another folder that's going to get deleted Creative Sandblaster 3D well I know there isn't a Creative Sandblaster on here and that shouldn't be on there and it's probably an infection and I know that because there isn't a Creative Sandblaster card here and these files would not look like that so that's definitely going to get blasted out and there's something here I can see these folders here these look a bit moody and they shouldn't be there so that's going to get deleted as well okay format factory well that's not on the system so that's going to get deleted this is not on the actual system so it does help to know what programs you've got on there and also I can see these files here as well .sys file well that shouldn't be there and it is there so it's a server based file and that's going to get deleted and all these other executable files by looking at the date here so we're going to get rid of this and uh, these ones here now if there's anything you're not sure with don't delete it but again uh, by deleting these like this these are not running at the moment so they're going to be a lot more easier to delete on the system I'm not sure about this so I'm going to leave that file okay so don't try to delete stuff that you're not sure on now there's probably stuff in here as well and I can see and I can tell that by looking at the date it's been modified you see and that Mozilla that's been modified at some point so I'm going to go into in there I'm going to delete that and also delete this file as well I can hear a dog barking outside so that's basically what I would do is go through all of this area here okay I'm not going to continue to go through all this because it would take some time so let's go back and look in the local folder here and into I can see Babylon there get rid of that again these have been modified some of these if going to temp and you can see why because there's loads of files that have been added to this temp area which is common so we're going to remove everything inside here okay just going to delete everything here hit the delete key and they're all the infections trust uh, it's saying our trash has reached its maximum okay so what I'm going to do now is uh, see if I can get rid of this there we go just quickly remove these and uh, then we'll run some scans so I'll leave this for now come back and again I would there is loads more areas that I need to check um, but we'll leave that for now and we'll run a start on the scan so we're gonna make sure we've got this all ticked up and we're gonna scan all objects So we'll let this scan run and uh, once this is finished we'll do the removal process and then boot to the desktop. This should free up a lot of the uh, infections that are on the system and hopefully make it much easier to remove from the desktop. Now there will be infections on here so I'll leave that for now but you got the general idea as what I would do. Normally I'd finish this scan and then I would boot to the desktop 
and then run OTL and get a log of all the files on there and continue remove that way but we're not going to be doing that for this video. Now the good thing about Kaspersky also is that we can also use the uh, remote registry tool which is actually going to allow us to edit the registry if we need to okay now I'm not going to cover all that in this video because it would take a long time to go through the registry and find loads of uh, areas that are infected and it's the same thing with the C drive really you've got windows and drivers and system 32 and loads of areas that I would normally look in uh, delete files from if they were infected okay but all this takes time and it would take far too long to video so we'll let this scan finish off and then what I will do after this scan is finished is we'll boot up and go from there I'll just quickly uh, have another quick look inside here Windows come down to system 32 then drivers I'm going to click on this date one here and straight away I can see two files sound driver and remember we deleted something to do with sound and uh, that's just been put on the system so that's a dodgy file and so is this one here the top one so they're both going to get deleted now these are nasty files so you definitely want to remove those from the system prefetch is another area we need to empty delete those okay okay so now what it wants to do is go through the motions and delete all the files it's found and as you can see in temporary internet files it's found uh, malicious content inside there so all we need to do here is you can either put the tick inside apply to all and go through the motions here but I'll just do some to show you what it looks like so you just want to follow suit and you can see ransomware is on the system here also some other nasty stuff bow.exe and you get the general idea so you just go through and remove what it's found now there is a bit of a delay so give it time and it will come up with more stuff because it's not complete yet you see so you need to just follow suit here and you can see it's found a load of files DLL files inside system 32 so let it do its job delete those if it says disinfect, disinfect. If it says delete, delete. Quarantine, quarantine. That's all you need to do. So it's found a uh, software. So we're going to delete this. Loads of stuff in System 32. Now normally I would go through this with a fine tooth comb, um, but I haven't done. Banker, you want to definitely get rid of these. back door again we got something else in system 32 let's just delete that now we could as I said put the tick in here and do this but you won't see what it's found I'd just like to go through to see what it's actually found okay it's now completed so we can now exit out of this now I would still go round and have a good route around the system manually to find stuff that this may have missed uh, but just for this case I'm going to reboot the system to the desktop so let's uh, exit out of here and restart
okay so that's okay we'll sort that out so now once we're back at the desktop here I'm just going to empty the recycle bin and then we can now do some scans so the first thing I want to run is TDSS killer Okay, that's good. Can move that to one side. Next malware bytes. Give that a run. Now make sure you update. Got a quick scan here. Okay, so that's found 19 frets, and uh, we can uh, have a look at these now. And as you can see, there's lots of stuff inside here: registry keys, a couple of files, uh, add-ons. Dat that I left um, was an infection, which I thought it was, but I just wanted to make sure. And I would always check and double check before I make decisions on deleting stuff. So what we're going to do here is remove this. I'm going to save the uh, log files. It wants to restart, so I'll quickly restart. Okay, we're still getting this issue there. We'll sort this out in a second. I'm just going to run uh, Hitman Pro here. Okay, we've got some uh, some rubbish picked up here. So we'll just go and delete these. Okay, so uh, what we want to do here now is I'm just going to run Road Killer here. And it's found some stuff as you can see. Policies in systems. Okay, so we'll and you can see the run DLL error there. It's been the run. So we could have done this inside Kaspersky manually if we wanted to. Um, what I'm gonna do here is have a quick look at these. Make sure everything's okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is delete all the files here. Let's replace that. I'm going to fix the host and the proxy and the DNS. Okay. Let's see if we've got internet. Here we've got internet, so which is good. Okay. I'm gonna run uh, AW Cleaner. This is gonna get rid of any toolbars or anything that may be on the system. Okay.
wants to restart, so we'll let that restart now. Let's delete that. Okay, I'm going to run Firebar Service Scanner. And what this is going to do is tell us if our services are okay, if everything's running okay. Okay, the firewall's been disabled. There. So what we need to do is just make sure we get that enabled. Okay, it's done. Okay, let's give a combo fix a run now. I'm going to run this as administrator. Yeah, we'll just let this run through now. It's just going to run through a number of stages. This will take a bit of time. So we'll just leave it alone at this stage and let it finish its job. It's going to reboot the system here. Okay, so that's now finished. It's going to put the uh, log file in there. And as you can see, just gives you a rundown of what it's found and what's been removed. Okay, we're going to run C Cleaner here. Let's quickly run this. Okay, let's complete. Go to the registry, scan for some issues. At least some of these areas are just from uh, infections, like this directory. Okay, let's do a quick full scan now with uh, Malwarebytes just to make sure everything is good. And while we're doing that, I'll get an uh, ESET online scanner up and running. I'm going to run this scanner online. Just install this part. Okay. 
and uh, we'll run a scan here. So that's going to download the uh, definition database there. And we'll let Malwarebytes do its thing as well as uh, ESET Online Scanner. Okay, so that scan's nearly finished now, as you can see. And uh, it's found two threats, which isn't too bad considering it, it was totally infested when we started. So we'll let this uh, finish its job and then we'll find out what these are and remove them from the system. Okay, so that's the uh, scan now complete. Okay, it's quarantined those, that's okay. It wasn't nothing on the system. Uh, they were in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna delete those. Now we just need to tidy up the system a bit really. Uh, uninstall a lot of the programs we use, like a combo fix and stuff like that. Uh, clear temp file, uh, clear the um, system restore files and let this finish its job. So I'll do the system restore now while that's doing that. And all we need to do here really is click on delete. Or you can turn it on and turn it off. I'm going to create a new one called Clean. And the date, if you wish. Now it will create a new one. I think that's about it. I think that's cleaned that right up. We broke the back of it and uh, it's come back pretty clean. So uh, all we need to do now really is let this finish off. Which it has done near enough. And uh, that's come back clean. So all in all, I would still run OTL logs or something like that to make sure that the system was fully cleaned. And uh, there was nothing left behind. And uh, pretty much we're done and dusted here. I think we've... Uh, completely uh, got this back to normal and that just goes to show you can use these three tools here to actually uh, remove infections now there's other tools out there that you can use as well if it gets a bit more tricky but this one was uh, pretty straightforward so i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favorite my videos and i'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again guys and thanks for your support bye for now